just want to call my own. Own. so that you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas are you guys. my amazing sisters in the studio with me. Shout out to Brother Day. Boop, 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 boop. Shout out to IJ. Boop, 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 boop. Shout out to Chrissy. I love you guys. And I'm just going to give you guys, just let, let's just let my people hear from you. I want them to feel your energy. How are you feeling on this, you know, great pre-Christmas season? Brother Day, I'll start with you. Hey, my people, it's almost Christmas! <laughs> the most wonderful time of the year. I'm so glad to be with you. And we hope that as we get to talk to them, reflect, you get to reminisce your own self around the fireplace or just the microphone, anyone you choose and have fun. <laughs> just the microphone. Amazing, amazing, amazing. IJ, let us hear. Hi, so I'm super excited. I love Christmas. Like today I was playing Christmas carols back to back. You know, the traditional carols just to sort of hypen the Christmas vibe. And, you know, I have a Christmas tree set up, light up. And I'm like, oh, it's time to give, give, give. So I've been sharing gifts and little hampers, and I'm just excited at the joy that comes to people's faces. Just for little. It takes just a little. So I love Christmas because it sort of reminds us to be intentional about giving. Oh, yes, I love Christmas. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, IJ. Chris, hey, hey. <laughs> mute, you're mute. <laughs> Where I'm unmuted now. Thank you. Hey, I love Christmas. I love everything about Christmas. Oh my God. It's such a special season. Everybody's just excited. Everybody's just happy. You know, everybody's just in a spirit and it's just, just a wonderful time of the year and I love it. It is indeed. And I'm going to start with you now, actually. Just give us a sense into, you know, what is your, you know, favorite Christmas memory? Like, what is one thing that, you know, you've, you've done over Christmas? Oh, my that God. With you? What symbolizes Christmas? Well, as a kid. Oh, my God. As a kid with five sisters, two brothers and endless cousins and, you know, it was just a crazy time cooking singing dancing marrying and having such a great time that's my childhood christmas um growing up and christmas eve is just like the best night ever games you know playing and then you have food just like a tray of food just being lined up and as you walk past you sneak one and then you join the game and then there's music in the corner and then there's somebody on the other side and then yeah it was just a crazy crazy time and i loved it i looked forward to christmas and, and cooking with my sister was amazing um because she cooked some of the most amazing meals that you can ever imagine like it wasn't just fried rice no it had to have some extra special <laughs> things in it it wasn't just jollof rice no 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 she had to make her own coconut jollof rice you know Ooh. so it was just so special and magical 
Um, and of course, Christmas dresses, you know, you have to have a new Christmas dress. Oh, yeah, so the church. Yeah, no, Christmas is amazing. And now as um, in my family, we have like a little Christmas tradition, you know, my kids and I, my husband, we like to go ice skating, um, then, you know, put up our Christmas tree together. Um, and this year, actually, my husband did it when we were not at home. And oh, my God, it was not when we walked in, there was <laughs> so much drama. I was like, all right, calm down. It's just the tree. <laughs> we had to like start the whole thing over again because it was like, you know, we need to put the thing on. We, we all need to do it together, put the tree up, and then everybody looks at it and thinks, yeah, it's perfect. Oh, uh, that's yeah. amazing. That's amazing. You guys feel free to chime in. You guys feel free to chime in. What's your, you know, what, who, who wants to go next? IJ or Brother Dale? What's your favorite like Christmas? What's the one thing you've done about Christmas like that you know, stay with you? Yeah, so my most favorite Christmas memory is actually going back home to my hometown, Nairi. I loved going back home to Nairi. Like, yeah. And we used to go every single Christmas. Uh, my parents, my siblings, we're six in my house, so, you know, large family. And just getting in there, driving up to the gate, and we're like, nay, we, you know, there's something about this. <laughs> we loved it. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll get into the house, and it'll be so dusty from, like, a year's worth of dust. <laughs> and, you know, everyone is bringing, everyone's bringing out a mopping stick. Everybody's bringing out, and I used to be such a lazy bone growing up, right? But I just loved mopping the floors in the nay, we. There was just something about me in the There was something about me in the nay, we. I'm telling you, ask my sisters, they'll tell you. You know, and then folding our, our clothing into the shelves, and then we'll now run downstairs to meet my grandparents. Those memories have stayed with me forever. Because thankfully, I grew up with my mo my grandma and my granddad uh, alive. They lived till hundred for hundred and five. My granddad and my grandma ninety wow. something. So it was so beautiful being there. And you know, when we were there, you're just sitting, and people are coming in. Oh, Merry Christmas, Unabiago. Like, have you guys come? And we'd be like the township people, you know? And, then... <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I love the we as well? We made new friends every Christmas. So you could have this family that had not come back in 10 years, and they come back with their children and like, oh, uh, Uncle Vin and Umu, yeah, you know, they are back, oh, they are back. And you just go and visit them. There were no airs, there were no formings, you know, so it was just such an open spirit of friendship, oneness. So those are the memories that have stayed with me forever and, you know, will always be with me. Always, always. I have been in the Navy. Thank you, go for it. <laughs> you are so right, IJ. I, I think um, I'm, I'm closest to that because we would go home every single, when I say home, home is where you your parents are from. That's home. Home is your hometown. And in my case, you had to go um, through water. We had to book the boat in advance because they didn't run 24 hours. No, it wasn't like that. Sometimes we would get there and the speed boat for the day would have left and we'll get on this canoe. And you see this person just holding the paddle. And you'd be like, ah, we are finished. But we would make it there three hours at night. There will be a, a little lantern in the in the canoe what? yeah okay, three and hours at night water <laughs> might start entering the canoe and then you start bailing it out and all of us in the boat and i couldn't swim to save my life but there was no wow. fear attached to any of these experiences wow. you were with family you were okay and then everyone would start arriving has this person arrived has this person come it was so exciting um the food the food was one of the most simple, basic. I mean, if, if you laid that out before me, right, it would it, you would you would think that ah, this thing is it, it. It's not a feast in terms of these days. It was just white rice and stew, right? So things like that always to me uh, showed that it wasn't really just about the meal. Now you oh. could you could eat that all day, every day if you wanted to. If you mm. had rice and chicken, which is like a Christmas staple in your house right now, um, even Christmas, even your kids wouldn't even notice anything was different, but there was something about that stew. There was something about staying in that mud house. So we first started staying out in the mud house where my grandmother's compound um, was, and my, my grandfather was in the one near do next door. It was the most interesting of times, but it was the simplest. I would, I would, it's, it was, it's akin to what 
people in the Western world would do with camping nowadays, just that simplicity of life. Mm -hmm. And that was, of course, growing up to up till my teenage years. And then I found Jesus, the reason for the season. Mm. So faith became a big part. So it started out with family and food, of course, you know, food. And then faith. And faith became my next big reason. Christmas then had a more special um, reason for me. I remember one of the first few carol um, concerts. In fact, it was like one of the first I attended and I was 18 plus. The others I had attended were like from my school and all, but this was a lot more special. Um, just learning again about Jesus, having those songs, those carols. I hope we'll talk about our favorite carols, but having them have even, an even deeper meaning, like joy to the world. Ah, mm. some people just light up in your your heart, like. Mm. And if you're going to ask Tom Brown, my favorite one is "One Child" by Mariah Carey. Oh. One child by Mariah Carey. Surely you wouldn't have been hearing that when you were younger. Because no, no, that, no. That's I'm reason. telling you, you're asking now. Okay. It's joyful. My own is Feliz Navidad. Child, eh, yeah. Eh, yeah. Eh. Even now, right? My parents are in Nigeria. I'm in the States. I'm not exactly making it back. But I'm asking them, what are the plans? Because it's a, it's it's an event. It's not a you, they don't wake up and then it's Christmas morning. There is something intentional about mm. Christmas. What are the plans? And I'm making sure that hey, so who's coming? What's happening? Does this person want to come? What they don't have transfer fair? I want to pay because I feel like it, it's something that everyone should come together. Mm. So Christmas is a time not just to um, have special memories, but to be special, feel special your own self and thank you IJ for sharing what you said about giving gifts because that 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 is so sweet mm -hmm. that is so sweet this is that season to make people feel special and for you to feel special yourself oh, I love it I love Bumbra, it what's yours so we we didn't used to go to the village but we, we used to go to my grandmother's house who lived in Mushi in the you know Mushi in and Lagos. she had this massive in Lagos and she had this massive compound and for Christmas like a million people would buy her chickens and I don't know why but you buy her chi what? oh chicken. chickens okay. <laughs> and I don't know why but during the day we'll let all the chickens out and then in the evening we all have to catch the chicken and put them back in back in the cages and it was so much fun. I learned how to hold a chicken. I learned how to kill a chicken. I learned. I know you shouldn't, but <laughs> honestly, I cannot think about Christmas without those, you know, those memories washing through me. I'm just, yeah. I love, 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 love the vibe. People cooking outside, and as you say, it wasn't even like the grandiose of things. It was just like the grandest of things it was just like basic things but then it was so meaningful so 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 meaningful they meant so much and for me christmas would start from school when the our last day of school hey, it's different when you know it's christmas hey. <laughs> <laughs> no you guys talk it's different when you know it's christmas isn't it because from school you're already coming home yeah. and you know that it's going to be a different vibe i absolutely love it love 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 so what's your favorite carol my own I've already, I've already said my own now Feliz Navidad that was my favorite carol back then but right now it has to be um oh, holy night the stars are brightly shining I love yeah. it yeah I love it oh, I love it so good so good Chrissy what's yours that's mine you just don't oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just I think mine was the little town of Bethlehem. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And then there was another version of it that says, Oh, little town of Bethlehem. <laughs> That's Mariah. I love I both of them. I know. Yeah, I did. Um, it, but there was also one that I really liked. I, funny enough, I don't even know the name, but it goes like, uh, Christmas is almost at hand. Na 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 na
for Christmas. Yeah. They were like really yeah. carols, yeah. like yeah. Yeah. Berlin, yeah. Snap, yeah. Yeah. No, it's not really like a carol, but everywhere you would yeah. go, like, you shop, would like everyone, you would hear it, and it was yeah. just so beautiful and festive. Yeah. Like was. Christmas morning, people would just turn up at your house, mm -hmm. and you know, it was just there's just so much happiness and so much vibe in the air ah is it still like that in nigeria now because mm -hmm. like because obviously you know here it's a bit different everyone's you know together you know polite no one's gonna turn up like that but in nigeria it just used to be you know everyone used to just be in everybody's business and it was so beautiful well saying i'm the only home-based person <laughs> yeah local <laughs> content <laughs> But yes, it's still like that in Nigeria. Maybe not as much as when we were growing up, because everyone sort of has still learning how to keep to themselves. You know, it's not like when we were growing up, like everyone's house was open. But still, I think it's way better than you guys that are, are abroad. I mean, you could just have family come. They don't need to call you before coming or very close friends. Hi, I'm at your door. And there's always food. There's always food to go around me. I personally believe that Jesus shows up at my house whenever there are guests, because for whatever reason, the food I will have, no matter how little it, it, it is, goes round for everyone. So I'm like, Jesus is here literally multiplying the food. So yes, it's still open door in Nigeria, particularly back at home as well. My husband is from Uguta. So now Christmas is at Uguta. And Uguta is exactly like Newi. It's like everyone wants to travel back home. Sometime in July or August, people start talking about Christmas. Are you going? Have you gotten your tickets? This is for Christmas in December. So yes, and then when we go home, it's an open house. There's literally no fences or no no gates closed. Everyone comes in and, and has a drink, has food to eat, and has fun. Aww. So when do you go to Newi then? New Year or? Oh, you mean now? You mean now that I'm married? Oh, so I go to Newi. If I go to Uguta and spend time in Uguta, okay, then I take branch. like two, okay. three days and with the kids, go to Newi, and then go back to Uguta. Oh, okay. So within that time, yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's talk about this year. What has this year been like for you guys? Eh? What has 2021 been like for you? What's your one memory from 2021 that will just stay with you forever? What's your 2021 moment? What was it? Was it an experience? Was it, you know? IJ looks like she's about to explode with her. <laughs> I like... don't know. <laughs> you are mute. Too. <laughs> I'll say you guys to go first. Back to go first. Bryce <laughs> is a professor. Chrissy, Chrissy, you go. Chrissy, you go. What's your 2020? Why is everybody moment? not wanting to answer this question? Because we're trying <laughs> to let the ladies go first, you know. Chrissy, Can you imagine? You're going to walk. <laughs> go go for it, Chrissy. Uh, What's your 2021 moment? Phenomenal. I think it's just, mm. uh, it's very hard to pick one. You know, I've just had so many moments i think for oh. me it's just been a real personal journey you know oh. um and i've just had so many aha moments and i'm just like oh my god oh. <laughs> um and then yeah things that i've sort of done things that i wanted to do you know i was looking at my list of things that i'd set out to do at the beginning of the year um and i saw that i don't i didn't even realize but i don't like three of them and i was like oh my god oh my god yes i've done like three without even Amazing. realizing i've done almost four um and i just i felt really excited um i don't want to kind of go into details but yes oh, um pick one now pick 2021 one. has been 2021 has been I, i'll say for me it's been a year of just total self-discovery is probably oh. what i'll say you know i feel oh, like i really got to know myself um a lot oh, more and i really got to lean into me and just oh, do me makes sense oh, um because life's just been so busy you know and, and just so many oh, things but that one thing i really got to do and it's just made all the difference so yeah i think that would be it for me love it well done well done well done well done Roxy, go for it how did this become me? It was IJ. <laughs> IJ. Go for it. I'm the host. My friend, speak. <laughs> Give me your opinion. Okay, sorry. I guess I lost this one, people. 
Well, so there was this thing starting the beginning of this year in um, a coaching community that we all be belong to, incidentally. I'm immersed in a circle with Devola Dejikurumi, our coach and friend and sister. Mm -hmm. Well, so she said, kind of categorize your goals by experience, contribution, and growth. Interestingly, mm -hmm. even just like Chrissy, I've not gone back to go look at what I thought, you know, I would experience. But one of my core experiences this year was actually meeting all the sisters. Um, ah. Yeah, we are a sisterhood of six, Ipire, Alire, um, Chrissy, IJ, and Tombra, mm -hmm. and me, of course. And this year, we were all, well, five of us were together in Nigeria. I met Chrissy for the first time. And then um, one of us were, did I say where? I met Tom Bry again after how many years, Tom Bry? I know. Like I think it was or something six, like six, that. Seven years. Yeah. yeah. So I met you in. Um, I went to the UK as well. So that was very a phenomenal experience for me. Oh. Um, getting to celebrate my dad at seventy and my favorite. Uh, and that your dance was legendary. Yeah. Legendary. <laughs> I did this dance that went viral for um, that was reasons shaking. I didn't it was understand. Something else. You know? I, I watched it like 10 times just by the way. And then I kept going yeah. back to watch it again. And then I tried to practice it to see if I could move <laughs> my waist like that. So I was like, how does Braxton do this thing? Yeah. Honestly. So I watched I, it I, I cried watching it. I oh, literally shed And so many people so told sweet. me that too. So I, you guys, for those of you who don't know, I just surprised my dad um, on his birthday. I didn't I let him know I was coming beforehand. And of course, I traveled all the way to Nigeria. And we landed with a band and I danced all the way into the compound and we did a video of it and put it on online and, you know, a lot of people saw it. So that was for experience. Those are things you can't really plan. You can't really quantify, but you're just blessed that God, you know, thought it fit to shower you with such love and just, you know, friends and family that humble you. I couldn't have planned that as a goal. So apart from that, the next one was... Um, I wrote a book, my contribution, I wrote a book. I became an actual author this year. <laughs> it didn't stop there. It was a best-selling book and it, it just opened so much more. It, of course, expanded my horizons, the people mm -hmm. I can reach and touch and just hearing those words, blessing people, hearing people talk about the stories in the book, A Line in the Sand, it, it humbles me every time. So in terms of contribution, I would say that is a major one. And then the last one was growth. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I've so grown this year. I've grown through these experiences, through the contributions. But more than those, I would tell you, I've really grown in my faith as a Christian. Oh. And not just as a Christian, but walking in my calling as a minister. A very unconventional one, if you ask me. I don't have a pulpit or a mic, but really growing in um mm -hmm. yes leading leading and um helping not helping <laughs> helping fulfill mm -hmm. god's you know kingdom agenda on earth um today i would say those are the yeah. three things for this year oh so love it wow. thank you That's so amazing. much right what a blessing oh you're so you're just so amazing yeah. love it love it love it <laughs> that warmed me right up <laughs> aj do you want to go <laughs> So I have a bit of a worried look on my face right now because there's a bit of background noise and it's intensifying, but um, <laughs> hopefully you can you can hear me clearly, but it's all in the Christmas spirit, there are patches <laughs> all around me. <laughs> <laughs> and Tim Goffrey is like, hallelujah, hallelujah right now. It's all part of Christmas, don't worry. It's all part of Christmas, I love him. All right, um, so for me, 2021 was an amazing year for me. Um, I'm not a professor like Brala Day, so I don't have it categorized in three or four compartments. <laughs> but I know that one guy. key one for me, my goodness, was turning 40. Like, hey! they told me. <laughs> you showed us they how. told me that. Turning 40 was so much fun. I would and she set the bar very like, high. We would have done it already like a couple of years ago. We, we could have, you know, moved it on faster. But um, I think my 40th birthday celebration was more or less like a production. 
there's no, I don't know which other word to use to describe it. It's like I was celebrating for weeks before the birthday and then weeks after the birthday. And for me, it was not just only about the celebration, also being celebrated. It, it just made me feel so fulfilled. Um, it was a reminder of the things that I've been able to achieve over my lifetime. Um, you know, it, I just, I, I, I don't know how to describe turning 40, but it was, it's high up there in my experience for 2021. And I'm so grateful to God that I arrived 40 happy, fulfilled. Mm. Um, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, then also, did you uh, hear a that? Major Sorry, one. I'm just going to rewind. She arrived 40 fulfilled. Yes, oh, yes, I did. Okay. I did. And in many ways, uh, in my spiritual life, you know, it's like my, my prayer altar was ablaze. My relationship mm. with God was amazing. My relationship with my family, my husband, my children, and then my career, mm. you know, and the, the work of more. impact that I always wanted to do, so, which brings me back to uh, my highlights for 2021. Um, as you guys know, Purple Orchid uh, was birthed. <laughs> my coaching and mentoring club for young female professionals to just raise them to be the highest versions of themselves in the marketplace um and like i say we raised daniela's in babylon so launched purple orchid had my first cohort taught my heart out you know mentored coached and had a massive graduation i think like a good grand graduation oh. in july and that was another major highlight for me for the year you know, and I've just been journeying with this 14, 15 ladies, and then we're getting ready for the next cohort as well. So that was very um, high up there as well for me. Um, another major one in terms of uh, pe personal development and growth. So I got a scholarship to one of the best schools in the world. <laughs> yes, in the world. <laughs> yeah. My goodness, I'm so excited about that because I have been waiting forever to get my executive MBA done and to have it done. My people say, if you want to chop frog, chop the one way, get one way, oil. Get so <laughs> this is a real case of me eating frog, oily frog. <laughs> what is going on here? Is that Shakespeare? <laughs> Shakespeare, <laughs> call Shakespeare and me. <laughs> So I'm very excited about that because it's something I've always wanted to do. It's time for me to learn, to grow, to meet new people. It's a new phase of my life. But also one thing I didn't realize, which was, you know, the way God is, he, it's like he gives you the cake, he, he puts icing on it, and then he puts cherry on the icing on the cake, right? He, he used it as an opportunity to inspire my children. So my children mm. are so inspired by me. You know, the way they celebrate wow. this, like my mom is going to the best school in the world. She gets a, she got a scholarship to the, and you know, I see my children, their eyes light up and they're so proud of me. And I was just thinking about it. Of course they will be proud of me because That's now- more than a hundred lessons. Right honestly, there. honestly. And now it, you know, it's saying to them, you can go for the best and you can mm. get the best on a global scale. You don't mm. need to play local and you could be, you could get a scholarship. You could be who you want to be on a global mm, scale if you system. apply yourself. Because they mm. saw me work hard putting in the application. So seeing that happening and then seeing me coming back and saying, I got a scholarship. It, it was a chance for me to mentor yes. them. And Ooh. I'm excited about that. Oh, my Sorry, God. I just really want to pitch into <laughs> what I just said. Um, yeah. I, you know, I, when you did Purple Orchid and you were looking to develop women in their careers and their personal lives bring you pulling on experts to talk to them and help empower them prepare them you didn't collect a dime and you no. you made no. this luxurious <gasps> program and it's almost like god is paying you that's kind of the picture i saw in my heart because you know when god is the one owing you the way he pays you is, is exponential like you you can't mm. even put them side by side so my i just goodness. want you to know that all of these things yeah you have misconnectedness so i'm sure <laughs> you yes. have arrived at it at some point but yeah yes. this is this is phenomenal honestly thank you for tying that up yeah you're right you were my misconnectedness in this one absolutely <laughs> absolutely god god was paying me and he paid me way more than i charged trust me yeah because the value of the school fees is out of this world 
out, the value yeah. of the scholarship, I mean, out of this world. So I'm grateful to God for that. Yeah. Oh, so proud of you, IJ. Well done. Thank you. Thank well you. done. Well done. Huh. <laughs> for me, man, this year was a fire year. It started blazing. <laughs> I when I say blazing, not in a good way, in a really, really fire, difficult fire. way. <laughs> so I think I was my already one... grinning from ear to ear. As no, in hot, hot, no, fire, fire. Yeah, that's how people was... start everything. Fire, fire. No, this year didn't even start. Like I'll be smiling at the end of the year. Mm. <laughs> so the first the fact that I am here, standing here, I'm here, sat here, and we are laughing. Honestly, let I feel like we need a moment to just say praise the Lord, praise the Lord, somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> oh my God! I think for me, um, I'm just super. 2021 was the year that God taught me. Um about trust in a very, very different way, in a way that was very real and tangible to me. I could really, really see what happens where you are covered by God and you are helped by God. And you know the scripture that says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil because you're right there with me. I had some really, really dark nights, really, really dark nights in despair where I, I just knew and it was just that thing the, the, the where they say when you were going through the really trying times there were the, no two sets of fun, fun, um, footprints because there was just one set because I carried you I felt carried by God in this year so I am um, I think for me um, it's you know in the scripture where you know people will have encounters men will have encounters with God and then they would they would they would almost you know set a name and 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 build a memorial to say this year is at my anchor year where I, I have seen God it is the year where God carried me where God carried me so for me I, this year will forever be special 2021 will forever be special in my eyes because I, I've seen because of what I've seen so I'll, I'll, I'll take a leap from brother so that's from experience perspective yeah 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 and then from a growth and development perspective I think you know Going on from that, that developed my faith. So I have, I have, you know, walked a lot closer with God. I have, I have, I have, I have, I've, you know, I've been more diligent in my in my pursuit. I'm not there yet, but I've been a lot more diligent than I used to be. This year, my podcast turned one year. What are you saying? What are you saying? Growth, like growth in my consistency, growth in Amazing my discipline, growth in my, you know, dedication, growth in my tribe building, growth in every single year thing. I've just seen like oh my your God, outcome, the productions were just amazing. talk about your consistency for that podcast. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You need to do like uh, what do they call it? A blueprint a for it because yeah, what, worthy of commendation, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh yes, yeah, definitely worthy of commendation. It's been so good. And mm. then the final thing I will say is so from a contribution perspective, this year was when I fully stepped into, you know, the coaching. I believe the coaching mantle that has been placed in, 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 in you know, on me. You know, I started, I started teaching more. Mm. You know with more authority, you know, I helped mm -hmm. people, you know, I built a, I did an identity mastermind program and I got, so it was the transformations that were birthed there was just amazing, phenomenal identity discovery challenges. You know, I've just done so much in terms of just building people and helping people understand and connect to their true selves. A lot of speaking opportunities. This year has just developed me like no man's business. And then the icing on the cake, eh? Holy. My song, you are holy. I was just waiting for you to not mention oh, you. you are holy, 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 Hallelujah. Let's worship Him who reigns on high. This 
yeah, hallelujah. Oh my God. We are going to be slain in the spirit. Holy is our God. No, is that, is that chant part I want to hear? Oh my god, oh my god, the chant now part, um, we've come closer. Closer, yes, closer, closer than we've ever been. And we've ever been. Yeah. 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 been. Yeah. So powerful. So oh powerful. my god, as we joined no, the angel, you, you cried, you, Holy, you, holy, holy, holy. holy. <laughs> No, you, you've done some heaven songs, honestly. Mm, Every I time think... I listen to it, I'm like, even the other day I was worshiping, and the, the one that came to me was, Come like a mighty rushing wind. I'm like, ah! ah you, should <laughs> produce, yeah. you should produce that one, too. Honestly. Mm. You know what's interesting? Another experience for me this year has just been seeing all my sisters, all my oh. friends. It's like, just, you know when you just put your footprint in concrete and it's yeah. forever like that? Oh. That's how phenomenal you've all been this year. And oh. Chrissy's single, actually. Not I know, that's what I was about to say. I'm like, like Chrissy, triple, triple. <laughs> is coming out. Before the end of this year, are you seeing how do you understand? It's like if he came out in January, it would be a January something, but she's putting that, put drawing that line in the sand. <laughs> she's, said, she's, finishing she's, strong. Yeah. she's finishing strong, yeah. she's like, wow. she's finishing strong. She's finishing strong. So, so uh, when I see my sisters um, winning, as then if you know. see us winning in mm. our spares, it's, it's mm. amazing. Amazing, oh, oh gosh, I celebrate. <laughs> We're making it look easy. <laughs> I celebrate you, my wonderful sister. So let's talk about next year as we bring this session to a close. What are you guys doing? What is 2022 going to oh. be? What's in the pipeline? What's the world? You know, some of you guys have been cooking in. You guys have been cooking in, in, in retreats with the and Some of you, they've been cooking Boy, you guys all <laughs> We have been cooked. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Super. Mm. Chrissy, go for it. Go for it. Yeah, what, Chrissy, what's go. 20? What's oh, yes, 20? No, no, it's not like reality. No, 20, you are not. What are you doing? <laughs> Brother, they will give us templates. Like don't like, brother. I don't understand the speed that is about to hit 2022 because, <laughs> guys, guys, 2022. It's just, there's just so much to look forward to, you know. I think, like, like Tombra said, I, I really leaned into you know, spirituality, my, my, myself, yeah. that's one of, that was a big thing for me Ooh. and just more clarity, you know, a Ooh. lot of the, it, with that came a lot of clarity in some of the things that I was really struggling to define what I wanted. You know, I, I, I love hair. I, I enjoy it. I worship. It's my thing. I could get lost in it, you know, career and all of these things. It, it kind of like, I know Bradley said tie it in. There was like a, a kind of need to tie it all in and sort of have that mm. blueprint. And I'm just so excited because I feel like I finally got it. You know, I, I feel like I'm finally got it and I'm waiting to just unleash. I, I'm not waiting because I've started already. Um, but yeah, I, I'm i super excited for 2022. Um, I think this year for me has been a lot of <sighs> sitting in. You know, I did, I did a lot, but I also did a lot of sitting in. And I think 2022 is not hmm. sitting in. 2022 is just like making moves and taking steps came on, came and just on. pressing in. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to um, doing a regular um, YouTube worship session. Um, I started out, I'm looking out to connecting with a few other people and doing a worship um i'm looking forward to my masters i'm looking forward to wow. my hair um business it's changing slightly but it will be exciting so watch this space and i'm so excited super excited for it actually um yeah and i'm just career wise i'm just excited you know for prospects that are coming in um and i wow. i look forward to uh, do you know, like sometimes you go through the year and you're like at the end of, you're the end of 20, 
2018 or 2019 and you're like, yeah, I know what I want, want to do and yeah, and I think I'm going to achieve it. But no, 2021, I'm like, I know what I'm doing and I know what I'm going mm. to do for 2022. And I think for me, it's just been, mm. yeah, it's just been really good. It's really, really been good. I'm, I'm excited. Mm. Love it. Chrissy Mama. We'll be right here. We'll be right here cheering you on. Anything you need, come on. You know, Thank we've got you. you. You know, we've got you, Mama. <laughs> Roxy, go for it. No, IJ. Roxy, kneel down there. Do you know I'm older than you? Who's all this no IJ? Come on, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I don't know down there. Your mates wait, baby. I've grown as me. Your mates. Like they wait. Okay, they don't teach you that your elders will. They wait as grown as me. Like they wish they had. You know I'm 40. You know I'm 40. <laughs> Go for it. Let's get what? Next year, will you be there by yourself? I'm exactly. You but, exactly. For now. Exactly. For now, I'm there. <laughs> Exactly, brother. That the lead with that. That's that's our next year moment. We're gonna be voting. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good place to start. That's a good yeah. segue. <laughs> you really want me to go first, I Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. So you said what would next year be about? Wow, mm -hmm. wow, 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 wow. <laughs> You know when you're looking at the sun, like you actually want to behold this glory, but you're not ready for it because mm. it's so bright. That's mm. how 2022 feels for me. I will mm. go ahead and do my due diligence and write down some goals and plans and even visions. But I know beyond a shadow of doubt that it's going to be exponentially more yeah. than whatever yeah. we could dare to envision. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it's almost like, um, and again, it, it's, it's almost like the more we're leaning into spirituality, like Chrissy said, mm -hmm. the more we are... Um, expanding on every sphere. The more we are growing, sitting into ourselves, the more we're contributing and, and um, having impact in society, the happier we, ha we are in our homes, in our families, and in our marriages. So I think I will lead with that. There's a place that I think God is dragging me to. This is not, I don't even have the sense to follow him at the rate at which I'm doing. So that there's a pull. And I'm just mm -hmm. going to flow. You guys know what yeah, flow is? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah Chrissy yeah. doesn't know what razzle and flow is. So I'm just mm -hmm. trying to teach. You know what that, that means, Chrissy? Razzle, flow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you're being wooed. Uh, if, if toasted. You're when you're 90s. being toasted. <laughs> when you're being wooed, when you're being toasted and all those things. Yeah. So when a girl agrees, we call it flow. So God has yeah. been toasting and razzling me. And many of you feel it in your hearts, even yeah, as you're yeah. listening. Even as you keep listening to Creator for mm. more podcasts, you keep feeling this pull. Look, let me tell you, the easiest thing you can do is just give yourself to it because it will carry you. You won't need to exert beyond uh, where you are currently. You won't need to exert. Um, yeah. And even the things you're doing right now, the, the results will be will be far from whatever effort that you put in. It'll be so much more. So that's one thing I'm doing. I'm also um, um, propounding a movement. I don't want to say leading because we're all a part of it. It's the Boundaries Movement. And it's amazing how that it went from a book to a summit, to a boot camp, and now it is morphing into a movement because it's a whole movement. It does have all the other things, but it's going to be a movement in terms of people will be getting content every week. Others will be speaking on it as well. We want people to become so conversant with the term boundaries that their growth is not lopsided and whatever future endeavors they go into, they can hold it together, those positions of leadership, because they have good boundaries, healthy boundaries, um, which is what I'm about. So that will be there. And our 40th, man, Tom Brown and I were born on the same day. If you haven't heard for the umpteenth time, uh, we're telling you just once again, maybe for the 101st time, that we're born on the same day. And we will be having a blast and we'll carry all of you along. Yeah, and it'll be, it'll be intercontinental. Intercontinental, indeed. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, that's me. Yes, okay, go for it. Yeah, so I'll jump right in. It's amazing when Tom um, Bradley was talking about flow. It was literally the same thing that the Lord had said to me. He said in 2022, we'll ride the wave. 
Mm. Like we're going to, yeah, there's there are going to be a lot of waves, uh, not just COVID waves, but waves that are just going to be coming. And you have to be ready to ride the wave with, with him because it says, because I am God over the storm. Uh, mm. So we will ride the waves. And, and for me, it's going to be interpre interpreted in many ways, uh, in my personal life, in the work of impact, in ministry and everything. Uh, but it, it, we're in trying times, if we say the truth, right? The world is literally, you know, turned upside down. And, and you know, if it's not COVID, it's the vaccine, it, it's lockdown, it's metaverse. And if you're not a discerning person in this season, you'll be thrown into utter confusion. So, you know, he's just saying to me, AJ, it's time to shine. You know, and you guys know I'm sunshine. So, right, it's like, you're going to shine brighter. You're going to shine brighter. You know, you're not going to stop and keep wondering why is there gross darkness? You know, it's like as if the darkness is thickening, you're going to just keep shining. Uh, and, and what is shining going to be? Shining is going to be me, you know, expressing myself in the highest versions that he has, you know, given me uh, some of the things I, I know that I'm going to be doing in 2022. He allowed me to set the foundation and the templates in 2021, you know, and carry out all the proof of concepts. And he's like, so you're now going to escalate it and you're going to take some of them on a global scale. Um, so with Purple Orchid, my coaching, my mentoring, I'm going to intensify that. I'm going to scale that up uh, because there are more women to reach. And basically what it, it, it is, is that it's a values institute where I'm reminding people what it means to have values, integrity, honesty, you know, uh, what it takes to be a person of value in, in the world. Um, and, and, and we'll be pushing a lot of kingdom values through that as well. Um, then I, I, I'm a speaker. I love to speak. And God has given me a lot of opportunities to speak on various platforms. And so because he's sending me out to the world as well, uh, the international schooling opportunity is going to create more speaking platforms that I'm going to be taking up on the global scale. So you, you all be looking out for me around the globe. Because uh, those are platforms. Those are platforms. You that never know where she'll be. Oh, well, absolutely! Well. Because he has said to me in 2021 that I am not a pastor with a pulpit. I'm going to be a boardroom pastor. Like I'm mm -hmm. going to be a pastor in the boardrooms. And so my my ministry is in the boardroom, in the workplace, in the marketplace. Um. So everything I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing with that intentionality. Um, I'm going to be a first time author, brother. I'm sure you're proud of me. <laughs> so I'm writing the book, um, Aruka Kwa, look out for it. It's a book on the, on the story of my mom's life. It's going to be an amazing book. It's going amazing. to be used to celebrate her 70th birthday next mm. year. Mm. Um, yes, I'm ramping up and God help me. Oh, well. <laughs> Yeah, mighty help of God. God is going to help me. If the brother, they will kill me. Yeah, but I think it's one of the things that I strongly believe that God put gifts in me for the the gift of writing because of this book. Oh um, wow! Yeah. I so um, excited! I've been working with my mom on it. Um, it's been amazing. <laughs> So that's uh, just a, a glimpse, a sneak preview of 2022. Uh, and we just have to watch the rest of it unfold. I love it. And I love the yeah. name of your, the book as well. I love the fact that it's yeah. your first name. So authentic. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it was something else before. It was meant to be something else. No, and then you tell your mom's name, though, or just like her No, so funny enough, that's not my mom's name. I that's not her first name. But it's, it's like a name she's known with. Yeah. It's like... Her nickname, but using the word nickname is belittling. It's like, you know, something, an identity. Mm. So Arukakwa mm. means it's not the dress, it's the body. Because of the way she carries, you know. So and literally, it's because of the way the she carries herself and her body. The body, the body past the cloth. Ah. You know, so when you mm. see her, even if she's wearing whatever, you're like, oh my she God. Will she will elevate it. She elevates it. But also, if you think about it proverbially, right, it's not about the no, exterior and cast. everything. It's like the content that you are made of. Not so like it's a rukakwa. That's what hey, it is. I love it. Watch out for hashtag Aruka Kwa next year. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I cannot wait to have it. <laughs> I, I, 
It'll be amazing. Thank you. And you know, Thank I you. your mom has a yeah, I think this book is gonna be phenomenal. I, I'm just gonna yeah. Yeah. to read it. I can yeah. even book cover. Oh, I don't know if anyone else can see it. I can actually see please, it. Please, if you can see it, start drawing yeah. it and start yeah. 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 Please. With, with the with yeah. the yeah, with the name yeah. and I can yeah. see her on channels TV, TVC News, having a conversation mm -hmm. with the ladies mm -hmm. at the view, and it'll mm -hmm. be their most phenomenal time. They will learn. Ah, like they will that. learn. They will it's like are people like you in this night <laughs> she Amen. come with an experience I'm mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah your mom your mom is mm -hmm. really is an experience and she would just share, you. share that light yeah. with everyone i love it i love yeah. it okay 2020 <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is what we have to live with you. Who wants to hear my... <laughs> i feel like i want to even record that <laughs> we just want you to know that this is what we have to live with. who wants to hear yeah, my 2022. <laughs> we want to hear it. 2022 is mm. going to be different. Sorry, Tom, but mm. you just made <laughs> I like I like to move it, move it. <laughs> 2022 is going to be different. Mm -hmm. It is the year of rallying the troop. Mm. 2022 is about mm -hmm. it's a year of amassing bringing in the army mm -hmm. and going to do god's work come on and yeah. let's hallelujah mm -hmm. that, is, that is what 2022 is all about yeah. i can yeah. so vividly yeah. pray this the yeah. year of impact the year of yeah. tra deep transformation impacting different transformation mm -hmm. it's the year that you know i come into the fullness the fullness yes, yes. or now they say the path of the judge is brighter and brighter, right. the brightest right. that I have ever been. That's that's it. I can I, like literally, I, I'm so 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 excited. I've never been more excited for, for a year like I am in the you know, as I go into this new year. Um, there's just going to be that growth in the space of thought leadership is going to be so exponential. Mm -hmm. I can see blueprints, I can see, you know, curriculums that are just going to pour out and will just, you know, change people, you know, life, one life at a time. And we're just going mm -hmm. to, you know, start this movement, this global movement for just, you know, deep, deep transformation. And it's going to be like light. One person, I like one and they like the other. So it's not necessarily me doing everything, but it's just going to catch on like fire. Super excited for, for, for 2022. Well, you, you know, it's funny you talk about catching on like fire. Uh, also, in, in recent times, God has been speaking about fire to me. Mm -hmm. And, he's, you know, he was saying, okay, yeah, we always talk about purifying. We talk, we talk about it in terms of refining. But he said, I'm going to be lighting people up, igniting. You know, so he's been speaking to me about fire from an, an igniting perspective. So light up so that you can light up others. Oh. Literally what you said. Wow. Literally what you said. Look at that confirmation. Yeah. 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 Super, super, super. That's super. what God wants in this season. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is such amazing. a prophetic house right here, right now. <laughs> wanting y'all to know. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And um, um, 2022 um, is going to be the year that I will be a multiple time author of author. I know I've not yet written one. I've not written one. But by the end of 2022, I'll be more than one that I've written. Yes. Amen. Wow. Multiple best bestsellers. Yeah, well, in fact, let me even say it. Yes, I will say yes. it. Multiple yeah. best selling author. You will awesome. say absolutely. Yeah. That makes two of us. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my book too. Oh my gosh. Will we have a like a joint book launch? Yeah. We should. I have one coming out next year. Know, oh God, we know. should. Yeah, because I have about two, three books. Like, yeah, you know, because you did mention, you know, referral code. The referral code, code, yeah, which mm -hmm. I have almost completed writing. Absolutely, yes. The referral code as well. But just after one semester, I can imagine just how much richer that book would be. I'm mm -hmm. loving it. So you see, now is the time to complete it. Don't scope me. We could have written 2.0. No, no, no. It's better this way. She wants to scope me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that's it. I'm super excited. I know that, you know, so many things are going to be birthed in 2022. Um, but I think for me, the focus is really around what I believe God has at the core of who I am, which is just building this knowledge base that would just mm -hmm. make illumination in the lives of many and help people birth deep seated transformation, not shallow ones, but things that they can see, principles that they can hold on to so that it's tangible. They can understand why the change came about so that they can replicate it, how the change came about so that they can replicate it. I think in this day and age where we live in now, a lot of people are told this is this is what you need to do, but a lot of people don't understand the how. Absolutely. So even when they do it, they are not able, you know, it's almost like a fluke. They're not able mm -hmm. to, you know, replicate it. Yeah. We have successes yeah. that, that 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 cannot be you know, like mysteries. Yeah. Mysteries. Mm -hmm. but, be able to do it if you're able to understand yeah. the framework so that you can you can do it in your own life so that, yeah. that is, is 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 what is you know an identity i'm just that gospel and ambassador for people understanding who they are and the, you know the unique gifts that are on the inside of them so yeah. i think that is it that's where i'm going to sit down like this <laughs> <laughs> <Give it up. laughs> and, um, yeah it's going to be an exciting time on the podcast we're going to be going stronger 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 getting more enriching getting more and more you know guests that are going to bring illumination to the minds of the people listening so please just keep tuning in if you're listening um, all the listeners here i'm super excited so i'm just going to say everyone just one word one word to somebody who is listening whatever you know whatever is on your heart let's just bless somebody you know speak to one person just one person with whatever is on your heart i'll start with you chrissy you're on mute babes Can you start with somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> My mind. The minute you said Chrissy, I went, what did she say? <laughs> did you say one word? <laughs> one word. One word. Well, one well word. it can be a sentence. It can yeah. be a sentence, but it's really, yeah. you know, what is the word? You know, it's that meta yeah, I just, for us. I, I don't. I, you speak to one I person. To just one person. Just one person. Speak to one person. Oh, I, I this is so hard. I, I, I'll I'm go. Okay, let me let me happen. save you. Let me save you so that you can come after me. Because Chrissy's a lady. She likes to be put together, you know, and she wants to deliver you a word in season. Yeah. I just want to open my mouth and speak to you. Yeah. And so say what you can yeah. from it. Yeah. Okay. So one word. Balade, one word. You go. Okay. So I'm speaking to a woman right now who's listening to us and like they have so many goals, they have so many plans, they have so many um, visions. I've not even started, but I feel this call. I want to tell you that this Christmas, let your heart be filled with hope. Let your heart be filled with light. Let you know beyond anything else that you're one of them. You are special. You are the most special you that God created. And 2022 holds for you almost like a, a, a bag of jewels and you're going to excavate and you're going to dig in and bring all those things and embody them. So I want you to be filled with hope and then walk into 2022 with purpose. Enjoy Christmas. You are the reason for the season. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, and I'll go next. So um, I'm going to say to someone who feels a bit confused right now as to everything that is happening in the world today, um, and I know there there's a lot of confusion, like I said, with, uh, with COVID and with the vaccines and with, you know, the virtual world, and I'm just, and you're wondering, Lord, what's happening? I would say you need to take out time and spend some time in the secret place, uh, because it's in the secret place that we find solutions and strategy for today. Uh, and God is releasing his mind for this season like never before, but you're not going to download it if you don't spend time in the secret place. So spend time in worship, spend time praying, spend time in silence and just listening and then spend time in the word. And remember that the word of God never fails. Like you can bank on the efficacy of the word. You can bank on the infallibility of God that he he who has done in the past for you 
and in the past for many others is able to do for you today and tomorrow all that you desire. So going into 2022, rejoicing in hope, like Bralade said, having faith, be filled with joy and be filled with peace because God is with you and he's in the midst of the storm with you. So ride the wave, ride the wave. I love it. Love it. Chrissy, Mama. Wow. That's just amazing. You know, as I just started to speak, I just heard be light. Mm. Travel light. Be yeah. light. And I know, I, I don't know, I'm probably speaking to someone who's wondering, you know, how, how do I be light? What am I doing? What do I do? And I think it's just, sometimes you don't know that just by living your life, just mm. by carrying on and doing your normal things that you are shining light and it's sometimes in the little things that you do sometimes it's the little way that you smile that you bless somebody you know those things bring hope those things you know spread light and you are light because god says that you are light and you've got to believe that you are light so whether it be in just taking this christmas spirit and beyond into 2022 and just be determined that you are light and you will be light. So in the little things, you know, in the small things, in the big things, you know, depending on where you are, just be light. Mm, I love it. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Chris. I'm speaking to one person, one person who feels like they need permission to go out into 2022 and own it. This is your permission. I release you into to be all that you have been created to be because it's all within you. You don't need anybody to tell you anything beyond what I have just said. You have the permission. You've got the empowerment. I want you to go out. Go out and take the year because it is yours. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> all right, people. This Thank round. you so much. Yeah. We'll play our music as we go out. <laughs> Amazing.